In recent times, there have been a spate of documentaries charting the course of incredible human beings, and Big River Man is expected to be the best example since the multi-award winning Grizzly Man. The plot of this real-life story certainly has legs. Martin Strell from Slovenia battles the rivers of the world to highlight pollution issues. In his 50s, and carrying some weight, he drinks heavily every day before battling what the world's greatest rivers have to offer him. In Big River Man, Martin heads up the Amazon, a 3,375-mile, 66-day voyage that is the longest swim in history. The story focuses on the journey and the relationship between Strell and his son, who also narrates and manages his father. This relationship becomes strained, and the best part of this piece is the interaction between the characters, the strength of any good documentary. It has to be said, though, that a great story does not make a great film. Despite his quirks, Strell remains reasonably quiet and uninteresting throughout the film and we certainly do not see or learn about the facets of his character or understand fully his motivations. The director John Maringuin seems to have picked the wrong direction for the movie, focusing on Strell's inner demons rather than the journey and task at hand. At a point Strell drops near to insanity but with little character to empathise with it's hard to attach yourself to this section of the film. This said, it is brilliantly shot, clever and has an excellent closing sequence and is well worth a look. It is, after all, unfair to compare this to Grizzly Man, a unique film, but maybe directors should not be aspiring to create similar docs and focus on the real story. <laughs>